Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a Martin's Hall, mini Martin's Hall, I would call it, and it is a show and tell. I am going to show you what I got yesterday, and I am going to tell you what I hope to do with each panel or fabric piece, because I have a lot of ideas. Before we get started, I want to mention, and don't run away, I promise this is quick, if you have an eBay store or you do eBay listings and or an Etsy shop, one of the new perks I'm offering my patrons and YouTube members is that I will promote your stuff a few times per month. That's very cheap advertising. Five bucks per month. It'll get you on my blog, in my sidebar, on my YouTube community board, various places on my social media. I don't know how many people I will have, and I'm not going to be like all just pushing everybody's things to the point where my actual, you know, customers are sick of it. But I can, you know, promote here and there, do posts on my blog. Those are not intrusive, and especially the sidebars, that's not intrusive. Somebody can just click on your item if they want. I really want to do that because it's hard, especially if you're just starting to get people's eyeballs on your things. And I want to bring the eyeballs that look at my things. <laughs> I want to bring those eyeballs to your things too. YouTube community board, post on there. Leave me the link to your eBay store or your Etsy shop. And um, obviously, I'm looking for things that might be handmade, crafty, but I'm willing to consider anything. So post your link and an email where I can get back to you. Do not worry. This is not visible to anyone. Anytime somebody posts on my YouTube community board, it's hidden. You will see it because you're logged in. If you were to log out and look for your comment, you'll see that it's not there. So nobody is going to get your email address, and I will delete that after I get your info so I don't ever accidentally put it out there. I don't want you getting hit with a bunch of spam. So post there. I will find it, and I will uh, get back to you. I will look at your stuff. If I think you're a good fit, if I think I can help you with advertising, then it's up to you if you want to join one of those platforms and give it a shot. You can do it for just one month if you want. I also want to say that those of you who think now all of a sudden you can just go and post all kinds of shit on my community board telling me off or whatever, don't get excited. Nobody is going to see it but me. Nobody. You log out and look for it. You will not see it unless I let it go through. But if it's some crappy ass thing that you just felt like telling me, I'm going to delete it and it'll be gone even from your site. So I just, you know, please don't abuse the community board because it's time consuming for me to have to go through all the messages. And if somebody abuses it, I will block you from being able to comment on that board. All right? Thank you. Okay, fabric time. Fabric time. Oh, I have another thing to tell you, which is so boring. For a long time now, I have been using a notebook. You know, just a notebook like this. To keep track of all my fabric frenzies, flash sales, eBay items. And it's so just just stuff has been spilled on it and all kinds of things but i use everything until there's no room and, and so that's what i did i used it until there was not one space left and i allowed myself to get not one but two new notebooks <laughs> from dollar tree i was like one i only need to spend one dollar not two but I treated myself to one just for my penny auctions. You don't know how happy something like this makes me. New notebooks, like a child getting ready for the first day of school. I liked the supplies I got. That was the most exciting part about school starting. And uh, so I lead a pretty pathetic life when this is the highlight of my week. And I started writing in each one of them. I had to use white out right away. I made a mistake right away on one page. And I said, I'm not whiting out. Not right away. Not immediately. So I took that page, cut it into scraps, and it's here. See, I have proof. Lined paper in my scrap pile. 
because I don't waste anything. And uh, then I started it about halfway through that page. I, I made a boo-boo, a, a scribble, and I had to white it out. <laughs> If any of you ever see the pages that I put up on my social media of the math I do when I'm planning a quilt, I make so many mistakes on those. I scribble them out. I don't bother whiting that out because I would need a can the size of a can of house paint, a big can of whiteout to take care of all the things that I scribble out. And uh, I don't want to waste my precious whiteout. Well, this is actually um, cover it. It's the Dollar Tree one. And I have two of them here and at my sewing machine. <laughs> Let's get started. Not too many different things, but I bought a lot of the panels and I will probably regret it. So let's see what I have planned for each of these things. Oh, first of all, I bought most of the panels on the bolt. So if I buy 10 panels, they come all joined and it makes it hard for me to show you a panel. So I spent last night cutting all of them apart. So happy. Now they'll just all be ready. And now I can show you the entire panel. Should I show you the panels for us? Yeah, let's just do the panels first and then I have some other stuff. This one, I think, almost dropped it, but I didn't. I think this one, I think I'm just going to be selling it as the panel, as is. Look at the pretty flowers. I guess I was into spring and summer stuff, not winter, because I came home with a lot of spring and summer things. Nice blocks there. Very nice blocks. I might have to keep one of these panels for myself. For an upcoming sampler quilt, once I'm done the sampler quilt that I've started on, do I need to fold everything as we go? I think so. I can, I can edit that out. Oh, not near coffee. Not a good idea. And then I have uh, this one. And again, I might sell it as the panel, but I'm hoping I have enough left over because I would like to do some fussy cutting. I would like to show everyone how you can have a panel like this. And if you don't necessarily want to just use it as a quilt top, you can fussy cut the little things, the bird, the monkey, the uh, whatever else we have, lion and something on this side, if you can see it. And I see a hippo. I see a hippo. You can fussy cut those into blocks and use them in a quilt. So a lot of these things um, might turn into videos because I have discovered if I have leftover items and I use them in a video, I sell out of those items. So I'm excited. And this one I like. Pretty sure this is going to just be sold again as a panel. Froggy. I'm such in denial over winter, <laughs> you can tell. Oops, turtles too. I didn't see that. Got lots of turtle lovers out there. They like to collect anything turtles. Turtles are big, owls are big. Um, and oddly enough, I have discovered people like roosters too, roosters and hens. Okay, this I'm torn. And I paid more than I would have liked because it was sold by the panel even though it was originally yardage but I bought way too much because it's up my alley it's wild and funky and colorful so you get uh if I sell it by the panel there's one two three four five six seven nine ten fifteen blocks uh, first let me just show you you know it's all like just bright colors and I don't even know if I really paid attention to the prints I guess it looks juvenile so incredibly cute and again I never know exactly what you're seeing <gasps> even from the back I love very much uh, I think because I have a lot of these that I will probably try them as a panel and again if they sell out well I could even get more of those if I really want to use them. I think I should be able to get more of those. I couldn't get any more of my background fabric for my sampler quilt. So I'm going to have to make do with that. All right, this, this is going to probably be one of my regrets. And it needs to be ironed even more. 
I was looking at this. I've had this print before, and I thought, you know, those are good for penny auctions and stuff, and I noticed that they were marked down, and I took the entire bolt, something I said I wouldn't do anymore, but I did. I have so many of these that it's embarrassing. Pretty sure that you will eventually see a quilt uh, video with this. And I'm going to tell you, because it's a show and tell, this is the showing part. <laughs> and now I'm going to tell you what I would like to do with this. Because somebody would say, well, there's just three blocks, you know, either three little blocks and a lot of leftover fabric or three big blocks and you don't know what to do with that. Well, I would treat this as three blocks, but then I would treat this fabric as fabric that I can cut and create other blocks with it as maybe the center of a block with sashing. And I think that maybe with just two of these... And maybe some coordinating fabric. Um, I probably could make a decent size quilt top. Definitely these are going up as the panel first. And if you think you trust that I will eventually do that video, <laughs> you might want to hang on to it. And or you can just you know take your chances, but I think there'll be leftovers. This one also, I've had this one before too, probably a while ago. I just love these blocks so much. Again, you get 15 of them. They're all bird, birdhouse themed. Nice colors. Just so super cute. This one, I didn't buy too many of them. And you watch, they'll like sell out instantly. One person will buy them all. <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I could have grabbed more of those. And there are still some, so I always can go back. I almost think I've had this before. If not this exact one, something similar. I remember something about a big flower on a black background. It's to the point that I, you know, can't really remember every single thing I've sold. Imagine that. So it is, it's a big flower. And again, I might be selling this as the panel. If I were to do a video, it's another good one that could be fussy cut. I don't know. There would be a lot of black blocks and I don't know. I don't know exactly what I would do. So let's just hope they all sell as a panel and then I won't have to worry my brain on that one. I have a big box of fabric coming. Hang on, I need coffee. In the middle of a sentence. I have a big box of fabric on the way. Well, I'm assuming it'll probably go out at some point today. I ordered it last night. Very happy about that. There will be an unboxing video when that comes in or, you know, shortly after whatever day I can manage to do it. Oh, I like this and I haven't had it before. I don't think. <laughs> Six nice blocks. I don't know the sizes of them yet because I haven't measured anything. All bicycles. Do kids even ride bikes anymore? When I was a kid, it was my form of transportation as a very young child. In those days, you know, you would just let outside and <laughs> be home for dinner. Um, and uh, I rode everywhere on my bike. Uh all through my teen years. And I don't see kids on bikes anymore. When I was a kid in this town, you could just get on your bike and go on Main Street and you would run into friends or people that you went to school with because all kids were just out. They were all thrown out of their houses. <laughs> get out of my hair because I have to wax the floor. In those days, mothers waxed the floors and they didn't want their kids around stepping on the wax. And you could always find somebody and then you could get into trouble and then you'd go home and you'd be scared to death that you were going to get caught. And a lot of times you didn't get caught. So you did more stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> this one. I'm very confused about it. Not confused. I know what it is. I just don't know what I'd like to do. If I put them up, they may sell. And then I won't have the chance to do the tutorial. So I might hang on to it do a tutorial with this, but I still don't know what 
tutorial I would like to do. This is a panel to make a tote bag. Fabulous fashion tote. All right? Not your everyday tote. So I am assuming that those might be the straps that you're seeing. We have a tote front and back. I don't know. Those are probably sideways. We have some little motifs over here. Hopefully you're seeing something. I guess this is what the tote looks like right there. So I have choices. I could go ahead and make the tote and we'd see how it comes out. I could also show you how before you make the tote, you cut all these pieces out either on paper or some muslin, which I will be providing soon. I ordered an entire bolt of unbleached seed speckled muslin. Love it. I had a sample of it. I ordered a few yards for my last sale. Loved it. And uh, so I will be offering that always for my exclusive shoppers and probably always on eBay too, but of course, a higher price on eBay. And anyway, so you can cut your pieces out and then you can make other totes. So I would like to show people that because I, I don't think a lot of people realize that. The other thing is I could just cut and use all the funky fabric prints in a quilt. <sighs> I probably would like to make the tote though. I don't know. I don't know if it's complicated. I didn't read the instructions yet. But the instructions are included. So I might hold on to this until I do the video. Anything I don't hold on to for a particular reason will most likely be in uh, Fabric Frenzy 21, which is scheduled, hopefully, for the weekend of December 6. I would have liked it a week after. That would have made it five weeks from the previous one but I didn't want to get too close to Christmas. People are busy and all that stuff. All right, that is it for panels. This is something I had before. I bought this before, and it was a markdown. Martin's is a surplus and salvage store, so they get things from other stores, and I don't know, they must have had these in a box, then they just brought them out because I picked up this exact thing I don't know, maybe a year or more ago, and I liked it, and I it's supposed to be three yards in here, and when I did it the last time, I discovered they were short. They weren't quite three yards, and I thought, oh, that's how come they ended up at Marden's in, uh, you know, as a salvage item. But now that I do postage stamp quilts and two-inch squares, huh? Get the hell out. Look at that shit. Look at it. It's perfect for things like that. I don't know. Is it two inches? I haven't even measured. Let's see. I can cut them down to two. <gasps> 175 for like the little dotted outline square. So uh, that will still work because it can always be made a little bit bigger. I'm a little bit sad that they're not exactly two. Oh, you know what? Somebody could cut a four patch and use the four patch um, in with the other squares that I bet the sizing would be perfect because you're not losing the seam allowance in two places. <sighs> That's going to be a video, huh? I think so. Now this, some tool. I probably have tool stashed somewhere, but I picked up a piece because I have forever been wanting to try making fabric out of scraps. And I'm talking about the scraps that make it even to my little trash. Threads, salvages, all kinds of things like that. I've seen this done many ways. Some people use a product called Solvi, and you put your fabric scraps on some fabric. You cover it with Solvi and you sew all over it and then that Solvi dissolves in water. So you're left with fabric that you made out of scraps. The fabric can be thick, maybe a little stiff depending what you're doing with it, but it's awesome for things like tote bags, decorative pillows, just all kinds of things. People use them for like scrapbook covers. So whatever you can come up with, you could even um, 
you know, put that fabric like around jars or whatever, or I don't, know, I don't know, I'm making things up now. Just don't make a frigging toilet paper cover for it, all right? Because those things drive me crazy. <laughs> the doll with the dress with toilet paper up her ass. Some people also use this for the top layer. So you put your scraps down, you put this over it, and you sew. But you know, this is stretchy. Now, I was thinking that tool wasn't even this much net. There's another fabric that I wanted to try, and I can't think of the name of it right now. I just think that this will be kind of weird to sew on. It might move a lot. I know you'd need a walking foot. I've never used one. I had one somewhere. People have sent me walking foots. Walking foots? Walking feet? <laughs> I've never tried them. I don't know. I just just do things the way I do things. I'm an odd duck. Get used to it. So I'm going to give that a try, and of course that will be a video, right? You know that. I bought some fusible from my supplier uh, for the last sale, for the frenzy, and uh, I sold it all, and then only after I sold it and went to start cutting how much they ordered, there's a paper that comes with that, with some half-assed instructions. Why is it so hot in here? Oh my god, I gotta go turn the heat down. And when I removed that paper that had a lot of pink on it, it had stained all the fusible. So I refunded all my shoppers, but I still sent it to them in case they could use it. And I thought, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother to get it from him again. He did say he would give me a credit, so I will be getting my money back on this order. But it just made me sad still that I got something like that, all stained. The entire 10 yards that I bought were stained all over the place. And, you know, I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt. He probably didn't know. He probably isn't the one who unrolled that and cut it. Um, and whoever did probably just unrolled it neatly and didn't move that paper so they didn't see the hot pink mess that was left behind. So I went to Martin's yesterday, obviously. I think I told you that. And I looked to see if they still had the fusible that I've used before and absolutely loved, and they do. I can't buy it by the bolt so I could have it nice and neat because it comes on a gigantic roll and they can't roll it onto another roll for me because they're not allowed to give away those big cardboard rolls. I mean, they're big, heavy ones. So I got, I don't know, five yards and it's very featherweight. I love that it's black and it's just... Uh, I just love it. So you use that to stabilize knits or things like that so that you um, can use them in quilts like t-shirt quilts without you know them stretching anymore but it doesn't add any thickness or heaviness or stiffness to the fabric. Very very good. So it's another thing that I hope I can offer on a regular basis. I have to go turn the heat down. My after lunch decaf is what's making me so hot. Next, we have just this one piece of fabric that I'm pretty sure will be for penny auctions. I've got eight different blocks, all adorable little bears. That was probably kind of quick. And I know some of you are like, no, just sell the whole panel. I want the whole panel. But I need stuff for penny auctions, and I like to sell little things. I use penny auctions as a way to advertise my stuff. It brings eyeballs to my things, and um, so that's the way I do it. I hope to have an article coming out about that. I'm trying to build more viewership for my blog, and it's hard to break the habit of just, you know, sometimes I'll just post stuff on Facebook, and I'm like, no, 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 I need to bring people to my blog, especially because I want to start promoting patrons' things in the sidebars, so I need the eyeballs to come to my blog. So instead of just like posting something right on Facebook or right on the YouTube community board, I'm trying to put it on my blog and then giving a link to my blog to force you to go to it. Oh yeah, and I'm trying to provide some content. Like I have a new series. Well, I used to do it for a long time and then I stopped because I just did. Um, I'm bringing back my like top 10 most watched or most viewed videos for the past week. 
and that always gets people curious. They, they're curious to know what got the most views last week. And last week, one of my top 10 videos, it was number 10, was my original Crumb Quilt series, episode 1. It made it to my top 10. That's over three years old. And it was one of my most viewed videos last week. I was so happy about that. So do go check out my blog. Guess the name of it. Guess. DarlingMichaud.com. You are right. This is yardage. I love yardage that has stripes like this so that I can do all kinds of things with that. Is it upside down? I think it is. It's this, this way is better, I think. This is perfect to like cut for postage stamp quilts or just strips to make a border around something. So I will for sure be using some of this, I hope, in a video and for sure we'll be selling some too. And again, I'm not sure how I will sell it. I might put it on eBay, but not as penny auctions, but as little blocks or whatever. I'll do all that cutting for you. This I picked up, and I have no clue why. I don't know if I might have grabbed something that somebody else had. It was a remnant. I don't remember taking a remnant out of the remnant pile, but I did look at remnants. Maybe I wanted it. It's something I like. It's like pink and like white little lines, but I don't know. I was like, how the hell did I bring that home? Another thing that is in the form of stripes, not so much stripes, what is it I want to say? Can be cut into strips. I think that's what I'd like to say. And I love this one. It's youthful, juvenile, or just fun and whimsical. And it's just different things. Clothesline, and is there a train there? Is that what we're seeing? It's a choo-choo, a choo-choo train. So I'm very happy with that. So fun. Oh, I just love it when I sit down and think, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to cut? This print I've seen several times. It was more expensive than anything I get from my supplier. But I grabbed it because I just had to. I love it. It's just stones. I love it. I love the colors. And they had other prints in these same colors, like triangles and other things. And I wanted them all, but I only took the stones. Even if I don't make money selling this, because, uh, again, I paid more, but I don't go up on price if I pay more. I just like it. I want people to buy it. And my exclusive shoppers do pay a $5 per month pledge. So it allows me to do that sometimes, just sell stuff at cost. And very often, uh, I'm in the hole when I send something. And I'm okay with that because I take all those pledges into consideration. And those platforms have been really good to me. And I appreciate my exclusive shoppers so much because it gives me a chance to do all this stuff. I love it. Look at the colors in this. And again, I paid more and it was worth it. Purple and green, I mean, you know, if I could be born purple and green, I would go back and be reborn and be purple and green. <laughs> I just love those colors. And I love the fact that there's like, you know, I don't know, they look like ornaments? Are they bubbles? I don't know what they are, but I love them. Last but not least, <sighs> again, so many things I can do with this. I may cut some of the blocks to sell. I may sell some as panels. I don't know. I don't know yet. But it's, let me see if I can open it in a way without it all just falling apart on me. All right, here we go. <gasps> I didn't see, I didn't see the purple one with aqua and green. I'm, I'm rubbing the fabric like I'm in love with it. <laughs> I think I am. Look. Look at these funky blocks. My chair is so squeaky. So much that we can do with these blocks. Just so much. I'm so excited. Do I look it? No, I don't. <laughs> I wore out my excitement look on my new notebooks. <laughs> All right, you guys, that is it. If you have eBay or Etsy, please go leave me the link to your listings, your store, whatever you have, and your email 
on my YouTube community board. The link to the community board is down below. I don't know if you can access community board on a phone. I don't think you can. I don't think you can on an iPad either. So you have to use a computer like in the olden days. And I promise nobody will see your email address. And uh, I also promise if you go there just to shit on me, then I will block you. So that will be fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.